to exam pattern. This is the concluding part of our topic, electoral malpractices. And in this video, we will highlight the consequences of electoral malpractices and discuss ways to prevent electoral malpractices. The effects and consequences of electoral malpractices are not felt only by the candidates, but the electorate and the country at large. The following are some of the effects and consequences of electoral malpractices. 1. Wrong people in power. The most obvious consequence of electoral malpractices is that the wrong people with corruptive disposition come into power. Thus, people who should not win any election, people without good conduct and even people with questionable characters are sworn in to take charge of the affair of government, which can lead to economic and financial mismanagement. 2. Apathy Electoral malpractice can cause citizens to lose interest in political activities. Many of these acts of electoral malpractice have been ongoing and no corrective or positive measures have been taken, resulting to many of the citizens deciding to keep away from politics. 3. Political violence. Electoral malpractices may lead to political violence. This may come in form of riots, demonstration and even killing of political opponents. People may react when their mandate is stolen and this can lead to a total breakdown of law and order. Lives and properties of some politicians and innocent citizens may be wasted. 4. Military intervention it is not the duty of the military to rule, but electoral malpractices can generate trouble that will make the country ungovernable, which will call the attention of the soldiers to seize power under the pretense of correcting things. 5. International sanctions Nations can stand against leaders that came to power through electoral malpractices. They may want to frustrate them out of the office by imposition or sanctions. 6. Loss of confidence and trust. Electoral malpractices may lead to the loss of confidence and trust people have in government and democracy. Now, how do we prevent electoral malpractices? Electoral malpractices can be prevented in the following ways. 1. Voters education. The Electoral Commission should make urgent efforts to educate the public on the voting procedure, political rights and dangers of electoral malpractices. 2. Independence of the Electoral Commission. Electoral Commission should be independent to prevent the executive organ from influencing it. Furthermore, men with good moral standards should be considered. 3. Serious punishment for election rigors. Punishment should be meted out in new electoral law reform to serve as a deterrent to election defaulters. 4. Establishment of a constitutional court. A constitutional court should be created to handle all cases pertaining to election malpractices. 5. Godfatherism should be banned or outlawed. The use or sponsoring of godfathers in elections should be made illegal. These godfathers demand so much from people they sponsored, leading to ugly stories in some parts of the country. 6. Reduction in poverty. The poverty rates must be reduced. Poverty is one of the many reasons people are manipulated into engaging in malpractices. 7. Use of open secret ballot system. The use of the modified open secret ballot system in its true form is the solution to election rigging. The process of accreditation should be followed in order to ensure a free and fair election. 8. Keeping a good register of voters. The voters register should contain the names of only genuine voters in the respective polling units. 
It should contain sufficient and accurate information about the electorate. Photographs and thumbprints of voters must be ensured alongside the use of the National Identity Card as it will take care of multiple and underage voting. Now, evaluate your knowledge of the topic by answering the following questions. 1. Explain four consequences of electoral malpractices. 2. Discuss three solutions to annul electoral malpractices. We have come to the end of this topic and I'll see you in our next video. Bye!